in this uh, <clears throat> question we will uh, discuss about uh, the key differences that are existing between the deterministic versus the stochastic models so as we know in the deterministic model we will not talk about any kind of randomness in the variable the input variables are more and more fixed the input variables are not varying to any specific distribution so once uh, the inputs are fixed we see that so the first point which i should look at when i talk about a deterministic model is the input values are really fixed to that deterministic model and because the input values are fixed the, uh, the when i am trying to compute uh, the output only for that set of uh, input values and probably for that set of fixed relationships between the various uh, input variables so as the values of the input variable as well as relationships between the input variables they are all fixed when i am talking about uh, a deterministic model whereas when we bring in this uh, stochastic model we look at the randomness in the input variables randomness in input variables is one of the key characteristics of the stochastic models and uh, they are assumed to follow some kind of a distribution right we we feel that the random we feel that uh, the variables are going to follow some kind of a distribution so whatever are the inputs corresponding to that uh, input we may get a series of outputs not just uh, one single output so probably there is a there is a way that we get a distribution of the output as well right so based on the kind of a distribution we are associating it to the inputs we can observe the pattern of the distribution with respect to the output which means there are some kind of uh, iterations uh, that are uh, performed even to understand the behavior of the input as well as that of the output so uh, and the output in case of uh, the stochastic model is always like a distribution not a single value so probably you can look at it like uh, the single value that comes from a deterministic can be looked at as a special case of a stochastic model a special case uh, of a stochastic uh, model and uh, uh, deterministic is only with one set of uh, values and the primary uh, uh, see probably uh, we can even use the deterministic uh, model to test the stochastic model because uh, the stochastic model we have assumed a distribution and we have uh, generated a formula for the output so to test it take uh, one value take one value preferably uh, the average or a median kind of a value for the input variable and uh, see how the behavior of the output uh, variable is coming out is it uh, in line with the actuals or is it much away from the actual behavior so that is how we can use the deterministic and the stochastic uh, models for effectively building the model as well as effectively testing the same all right now let's see a, a process in case we want to build a model the government intends to set up a model to analyze the mortality the objective of the model is very clear here whatever uh, the mathematical or a statistical uh, model the government is willing to build is majorly to analyze the mortality of a population over the last 50 years so here this is just for a statement purpose but in general when i ever i am looking at a model building process or analyzing uh, analyzing the data so probably this is uh, more of 
analyzing the data for building a model this is the major uh, this is a major uh, uh, point to discuss uh, here right so finally uh, uh, just to get uh, started with the same we are first looking at the broader objective behind the building of the model major aspects of the model to be analyzed what aspects of the model i need to analyze so here we know the mortality rates and uh, probably i need to clearly uh, define am i looking at uh, the average mortality rate or am i more interested in the distribution of the mortality rates or uh, should it be a uh, should it be a split separately uh, for male or female or any other kind of uh, any other kind of bifurcations are very much required or uh, uh, one more objective could very well be how has been the trend over the last 50 years so there are various objectives for the same right and uh, so uh, based on the clear cut objective that can come out of it that is where the plan for the model starts off and uh, as a part of the once the planning is done we are into the data collection process whatever uh, the data that was available either from the national statistics or uh, sometimes if at all there are some kind of insurance companies the insurance specific uh, statistics different kinds of statistical uh, data is typically uh, collected and uh, pro probably uh, the accuracy and uh, the consistency of the data needs to be checked so i'll start about check for accuracy and consistency in the data over a period of time because uh, uh, if there was a process change basically uh, majorly uh, to look out for a process change right that is what uh, so probably if we are talking about uh, the deaths the way the deaths were uh, computed the day the deaths were uh, collected 50 years back might have uh, changed uh, uh, right now so those kind of uh, those kind of process changes and uh, bringing consistency into the data that has been collected all these things need to be ensured and whatever uh, you think are the major measures major measures for mortality the annual death rate or uh, uh, death rates uh, by gender what are the various uh, measures of mortality you just identify the metrics and from the data that is available just compute those metrics and this is where probably uh, you can take the help of the experts especially uh, the the census officers the help can very well be taken from government officials and census officers uh, in terms of uh, uh, consistency or uh, verification uh, of the data and uh, think how would you generate the model model generating process just brainstorm on what should be the typical uh, model generation uh, process here would it be more uh, on a simulation basis or would you be going to use some kind of general purpose language uh, software language to develop the same or would it be a simple spreadsheet based model so just uh, try to visualize what kind of a model or what kind of uh, software could be uh, used for the same and based on that uh, typically uh, code the program and then debug it make sure that uh, there are no uh, programming related uh, errors in the same and whatever uh, then do the validation uh, testing for the same which means test out whether the output that is produced is more or less reasonable or not is it more or less uh, in line with in line with the actual experience 
so there is uh, some kind of testing process that is done and after that comes the core thing which is the sensitivity analysis what is this sensitivity analysis change the input variables slightly small change in input variables observe how the output variable is drastically getting impacted that is what we are performing as a part of the sensitivity analysis change the input variable slightly examine how the output is getting impacted with the say and clearly analyze the output that is coming out of the model and once you are uh, fully convinced about uh, the the, the uh, compliance testing for the same looking at uh, the evaluation of the outputs and uh, you, once you are uh, ensuring consistency in the same go ahead and communicate it to all the intended parties as well as maintain a proper documentation of uh, the same model so any typical model building process any problem that we are uh, observing if at all i have to go ahead uh, and do a proper uh, uh, and do a proper model uh, building uh, process for the same this these are the essential steps that we typically get into all right